The NFL approved, 32-0, Tuesday the $4.65 billion purchase of the Denver Broncos by the Walton Penner Group that used $3.9 billion in financing to close the deal, according to a source familiar with the agreement. The NFL has a debt limit of $1 billion on the purchase of the controlling interest of an NFL team. But when you're worth $60 billion, like Rob Walton, there are simple ways to end run the rule, at least in the short term. The financing consists of a $3.7 billion short-term loan that won't be reflected on the team's balance sheet, a $200 million loan from the league that will, $500 million of cash from the controlling group and $250 million of cash from limited partners. The reason why the short-term loan isn't considered team debt is because it's likely a personal loan against Walton's own assets rather than those of the Broncos franchise, the person said. Personal loans are often used by wealth people to close a deal so the buyer doesn't have to sell considerable assets, like stocks, quickly and provides breathing room until long-term financing can be secured. Walton will own 34% of the team and his daughter Carrie Walton Penner and her husband Greg Penner will each own 30%, according to the source. Melody Hobson, co-CEO of Ariel Investments, is down for 5. 5%. Formula One driver Lewis Hamilton has a 0. 2% stake and former U.S. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice's share is 0. 13% of the team, the source said.